this woman is this woman is giving out free game free game all those chicks out there all don't date for potential don't date because somebody treats you well don't date somebody just because they want to take care of you and they want to she's saying play the long game you gotta play the long game this is what i always i've been telling women this for the longest time that's why i stopped talking to women that's why i talk to my fellas now why because I was giving women advice. I was telling women this for the longest time. Yo, stop focusing. Oh, he got six packs. Oh, he's six foot twelve. Oh, he he makes he makes a million bazillion dollars. And he cause y'all chicks are gonna mess up. You wanna know why? Like she said, cause soon that guy that's hustling right now, he's gonna turn into the owner. That guy is soon gonna have his PhD. That guy soon when hear me out, y'all. Women tend to want to wait till they expire. Till that, cause see what, what fellas, what women don't understand is this. Women never run out of options of men who want to sleep with them. I got my swag right, feeling crispy clean. Girl, I'm the flyest mother you've ever seen. So much money. Welcome, welcome back to the Hear Me Out podcast in association with True Hall of Fame Built. I'm your host, Michael May. And today, I got a good one for y'all, man. From the coffee pot, the homie Shazette. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? Much respect and big up to him to what he's doing. Yeah, I want y'all to understand. I want y'all to read this title. It's your turn to bust the cheeks. Ladies, leave the streets and get a corny man. Fellas, I want y'all to pay attention. Not only have the man is fear, but we've been warning you guys about this for the longest time. I told you guys that it's unsustainable. Women cannot sustain being passed around, smashed by every Tom, Dick, and Harry, getting ran through. They cannot deal with that. But I want to get right into this, right? I'm gonna let the homie get. I'm gonna let the homie start his his his, his show. This is my guy right here. I rock with him heavy. I already know how I give it up, man. Yes, it looks like there's a high demand for men, but not just any type of men. You got to fit a certain criteria. Women are my bad. I know the I know the men. Yes, they are. They're looking for. I know them. the I know the volume was a little low in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? I know I've been streaming other t other channels, so it's a little different settings. And and I know here we keep it a thousand. We don't do retakes. We don't do none of that here. We keep it. Whatever happens, happens. It's life, you know what I'm saying? But I want you guys to pay attention because there's some things on this video you guys are not gonna like. You know what I'm saying? And I need you guys to get in your feelings and get emotional about it. Because a lot of you guys probably already made this mistake or in the process of making this mistake. To my young fellas, y'all better not make this mistake. Let's keep rocking and rolling. High and low, they're searching everywhere looking for a corny man you may be asking well what is a corny man well let me let this woman explain it for you and let me know what you guys think we're about to get into it let's go ladies y'all are wearing me out let's talk about corny men and not corny men mm. okay leave these bad boys alone you don't want first of all this is an older woman so she, she's expired already, but let's keep rocking. They might be fun when you're young. They don't work. They want to... Pay attention. In case I can't see it, y'all see this? All oh, this, this is, this is wear and tear. Y'all see the lines right here? Y'all see the lines? This, this is wear and tear, y'all. This is all wear and tear. They party all the time. They want to do drugs. They mm. want to smoke. They want to hustle. Leave them alone. This is the year to get a corny man. 
This is the year to get a corny man. Wow. Now I will say this, fellas. This is why we tell you guys. Don't date these older women because I, I heard her say that and I turned on the camera. So I, I, I got a little emotional. I got a little my, my feelings. So I ain't going to cap. So I need you guys to understand. This is why I always tell you guys, don't be a nice guy. Be a good person. Be about your business. But that chick that said no to you then, you got to make sure it's a no now. Because these chicks have a habit of coming back when they're worn out. Remember the video that, and that's you. That's the, that's you, girl. I showed you this video. Don't be these guys. Let's keep going. Okay, we're moving on. That's the new groove. If you corny, you are for me. Ru that's the new groove. All right. Remember, y'all keep telling y'all words mean something. Russell Wilson, think like that. You want a man that want to go to school. Russell Wilson. Y'all see? Russell Wilson is a sucker. Russell Wilson is dealing with Sierra after she done been ran through by the whole entire industry. She done been ran. Everybody had a touch of Sierra. You see what I'm saying? Come on now. Want to study. Okay, there we got some... If you've done any of these things and excelled in these things, you are corny. Um, ha have an education is what I, I, I'm trying to write this stuff down. Um, gone to school to study, right? You got that. Let's keep listening. Want to have a steady job. Cause steady job. I hope you're writing this down. Mind you, what she's saying this is just grown-up stuff. Fellas, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. None of y'all guys find it funny. Nobody finds it funny that women be like, I got my own car. I pay my own bills. I got my own, my own crib. Women are the only ones that celebrate being an adult. You don't hear guys, I got my own car, I got my own crib, I make my own money, because we know that we have to do it. Women celebrate, so women celebrate just growing up. I, oh, I'm a grown up, celebrate me. Why? Why? Fellas, this is why whenever I hear a chick talk like that. Steady job. All right, keep going. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. Okay, you're gonna look up in that corny dude who was working the nine to five, going to school and all that stuff. You're gonna look up and ten years later, he gonna own the store, he gonna yep. own the McDonald's, he gonna have his doctor's degree, he gonna have whatever else, and you done passed up on him when you was young and fine and kidless, playing with the hustlers, right? Okay, and he gonna be married to somebody else, looking at you crazy, like no, he don't want you, right? Ladies, it's time to play the long, smart game. Mm. Get somebody with potential who likes you. He may be corny. He may not have it all. But guess what? Y'all can grow together. Time out. Time out. Time out. If y'all guys are following me on Instagram, at Michael May Forever, I already told y'all guys every single morning, I, I always drop I, I drop little videos of things that I'm seeing going on in society, studies, all that. I've already told you guys this. Women are going to start going after the good guys. But fellas, this is why I always tell you guys, when you holler at a chick, look, this this woman is this woman is giving out free game. Free game. All those chicks out there, oh, don't date for potential. Don't date because somebody treats you well. Don't date somebody just because they want to take care of you and they want to She's saying play the long game. You got to play the long game. This is what I always, I've been telling women this for the longest time. That's why I stopped talking to women. That's why I talk to my fellas now. Why? Because I was giving women advice. I was telling women this for the longest time. Yo, 
Stop focusing. Oh, he got six packs. Oh, he's six foot twelve. Oh, he he makes he makes a million bazillion dollars. And he cause y'all chicks are gonna mess up. You wanna know why? Like she said, cause soon that guy that's hustling right now, he's gonna turn into the owner. That guy soon gonna have his PhD. That guy soon when hear me out, y'all. Women tend to want to wait till they expire. Till that, cause see what, what fellas, what women don't understand is this. Women never run out of options of men who want to sleep with them. That's never gonna go nowhere. She could be 40, 50 guys are gonna sleep with her all day. This is the reason why we tell you guys, don't date older women. And if you do, you better make sure you find the value and she's playing according to your rules. Why? Because now we know past the age of 35, these chicks are target practice. Pew, pew. Now you got these young kids out here. Now she can't get pregnant. These young guys are just shooting up the club. You understand what I'm saying? So we tell you guys, they're target practice. So now why would I get the older version? Look, 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 look at her on the screen. Why would I want to deal with the older version of her when I can get this same woman at 21, 20 years old? So she's putting women on to real serious game. Will they listen to her? No, no. That's why I tell you guys, when you holler at a chick, if she says, no, no, thank you. Or you holler at a girl, she leaves you on red or she's playing those games. It has to be forever ever forever ever you have to leave that chick because when she comes back she ain't gonna like the terms and services <laughs> she better make sure she reads the fine print because it's gonna get ugly and women don't understand that it takes a lot for you to approach these women hey how you doing have something to say be a man about purpose like for her to turn around and play those games with you and then what's gonna happen is when those options are not there Cause nobody wants to deal with her. She's gonna come to you. Hey, it's your turn now. Now you could, nah, fellas, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't wanna bite into a sandwich that somebody else already bit. A few other guys already bit. Now nah, we good, let's keep rocking and rolling though. And you'll be looking back and you'll thank me later. Okay, this is the gear to get a corny man. That's what's back in style. That's back in style. Ah, uh, man, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. That's what's back in style. I know this lady's intentions are good. I'm, I'm not even gonna go right on her. She's trying to help. Right. And she actually may help some women out. She may catch one that hasn't gone too far. Right. Now there's gonna be some young women, and this is and this is why when I did the other previous video on the black hoodie talk in the morning on my IG where the lady was like if you're if if you're 20 years old female the minimum age you should be dating a guy is 30 35 years old there should always be a significant gap you want to know why cuz these young chicks hear me out let me show you what, fellas pay attention i don't care how y'all feel about it right why would i want my my daughter listen to me my daughter, 18, 19, 20. Why would I want my daughter to deal with somebody who's 20, 20, 22? Obviously, I'm going to be her dad. So I'm, I'm going to give her all the game. I'm going to do what a dad's supposed to do. Not saying she's going to be perfect and listen. What I'm saying is this. She is born with her value. So... I would want her at the at the young age to build with somebody. And if somebody's already built 30, 35, and she's 20, 21, you damn right. If that guy got his head on his shoulders, he he he's he, he's doing his thing, he knows where he's going, he's gonna take care of my daughter, lead, be the leader of my daughter, know how to cultivate my daughter, you damn right. You damn right. Why? Because these young guys, why would she be 20, 21? She's getting her life together. They, another 20, 21, who's getting their life together 
and that shit don't work. Why? Because the the peak exchange is off. The peak. Tell me, have you ever seen this? Have you ever seen a woman go crazy? Pay attention. You're 20, she's 20. Boom. While she's the hottest, she's stuck with you. She's stuck with you. Now, you turn 30. Now she's, her value ain't the same no more. But now you're making more money. Now, now, now the shift is happening. See, while she's this hot, you're here, but she's thugging it out with you. Her peak, her hotness, her fertile years, she's thugging it out with you. But what happens is this. Now she's 30. Her value is starting to decrease. Your money and your value is starting to increase. So now you're 40. And now it goes like this. Now she ain't as hot no more. But now you making money, you still the man, you still looking good. Yeah, I know if you take care of yourself as a man, as you get older with time, you know, you get better and better. Now, you checking for this younger chick. That's not a fair exchange. That's not a fair exchange. Because now, you're going to always continue to look at the younger version of her. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like the younger version of her is always going to be appealing to you. Now, unless it's some real. See, because hear me out. Now, I can say this because I, 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 I'm standing on this. If she gives you her peak. If she gives you her best years. I feel you owe her yours. So now when that slant happens, I feel like you owe her that. She been riding the dime with you. She been rocking out. So now you owe her that. You understand what I'm saying? But the right way to do it is she's 20. She's going to be hot for the next couple of years. You're 30, 35, 40. And now you're, 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 you're so now you guys are going to go like this. Now it's just going to go like this. You guys are going to be able to enjoy each other's peak together. Together. I don't understand how that goes. I don't understand it. But let's keep rocking and rolling. She may catch one that doesn't have five kids. Drink the coffee. But guys, this is good news, man, right? No. A man who's out here has an education, <laughs> studied, business, a steady job, cares about his credit score. Yep cares about his sleep preferably um I, I put like have no criminal record in there that is core me i just got some of these comments with people have to say do you guys agree and are you excited about this opportunity to finally his sarcasm is insane insane get your turn this commenter says so a hard working Loyal man is considered corny. Help me understand. This is a fact. This is a fact. Hear me out, John. And I, I will tell you this. And I've been telling women this for years. Do you know what a healthy, long relationship looks like? It's boring. Stability is boring. See, but women, women don't understand how that works stability is boring a relationship has rules it has lines you don't cross women don't want that yes yes but we already know this and guys you just gotta embrace it if being successful in life is corny then i'll take it. yep and what is success and fellas here's the thing let me let, let let me give you an example, right? I ain't gonna dive in too deep. So I, I met I met this chick at a shoe store, right? I was in a rush, having to run to work, you know what I'm saying? I heard there was a sale closing down, the store was closing down. I got the wrong store, but nonetheless, um I met this chick in the shoe store, right? Younger. 
You know what I'm saying? She took care of me. She was fast. She was quick. She, she, as a professional woman should. Uh, I exchanged, I exchanged information with her. Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Look, when I get back, let's link. That was a few, that, that, that was a while ago. How do you think I would conduct myself with her now? See, because what women don't understand is the man that you, that she's going to inspire to want to be with, I'm already him. I'm already him. So now by the time she gets 25, 23, she done slept with 15, 20 dudes. Now her values diminished. And I'm still going to be him, but she's not going to be her. This is why I tell you, fellas, we win in the end. We win. You want to know why? Because next year, there's going to be another uh, uh, a 19, 20-year-old chick on the come up. So while she lost her opportunity, next year, there's going to be another batch. Every year, there's another batch of beautiful young women on the set y'all don't see what's going on in these colleges y'all don't see what's happening in college pay attention every year a new fresh batch of new college girls are coming in to school i'm getting older i'm getting better but now the older not now some of these women that that lost opportunity they're 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 off my radar now let's keep rocking um not having so many headaches in my life that I'm now paying for past decisions, you, you know, not having multiple baby mamas, having a predictable life to an extent, structure, all those things, I'll take it. Somebody else here says, gentlemen, he says, this lady has great advice, but if they didn't accept you in their prime, never entertain them in their decline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally already said that. If she like I said, this this chick in the shoe store. She's young, she's beautiful. If she's not down with me now, why would I wait two, three years? Who's to say what have happened in two, three years? How many bodies she accumulated in two, 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 two to three years? I know, like I said, I know a chick who's 21 who's already been with like 26 dudes. You're wild. That means that you've slept because you ain't sleep with one dude per year. That means that from, let's just say from the age of 14, because some of these girls get active real young. Let's say 14, because I'm going to say 14 because I'm trying to make it seem a little better. From 14 to 21, 26. Let's do the math. Let's do the math. That's at least like four, that's, that's, that's like four men per year. And fellas, I'm going to do a video, shout out to Coach Greg, where I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you a woman that explains Women don't count certain men that, that they sleep with. One night stands. The football player that she, she slept with in, in, in the locker room that one day. The fellas, women try to keep their number down, but you should always times it by two. Classic quote. Now the comment here says, if steady job and not in the streets equals corny, something's wrong. Yep. Something's wrong, he said. It's the, it's, 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 it's what it is, man. Another comment here says, I don't know if I should be insulted or flattered. Right. With the laughing emoji. Right. I don't think you should. You, you, you got you to gotta eventually decide that you don't live in the same reality as some people. Being offended by somebody saying that you keep in a steady job and having a consistent income and caring about the trajectory of your life, protecting your peace, you deciding that you're going to be insulted by somebody deciding that that's corny is living in that person's reality where things are completely mm -hmm. backwards. Take a shot of reality and accept that that is not real life. You don't live that life where that label is corny. And, and if that's it, go ahead, have it, right? Another comment here says, they do get the corny man. 
after everything else has fallen through years later. Yep. Some of them, most of them are going to be alone. Another comment here says, facts four degrees later, they running for me. Remember, you didn't want me no way now. Another woman here says, I had a corny man back in the 90s but wasn't ready then. He's my blueprint of the gentleman I want today. This chick looks. She just said it. She just said it. I had a corny man back in the nineties, but he wasn't ready then. He is my blueprint. See, this is what these younger women don't see. No, the old women aren't teaching these younger women. You should be attached to an older man. You should be attached. Cause I could teach you, I could take you certain places that you're never gonna go by yourself. You're not, your dad is never gonna take you certain places that I can. He's never gonna elevate you to certain places that I can. It's not gonna happen. Unless your dad is freaking Puffy or Barack or one of these guys that, that's not something completely different. Other than that, you're not gonna be, come on, man. Fellas, us as men, we give women the status. We give women status. That's why you gotta be careful what, what, what chicks you have around you. It's about 50. Um, we've got a brother here who responded and says, your time has come and gone. Facts. Oh, not facts. Not facts. Another person here said, laughing emoji in response to what he said. <laughs> Here's somebody else that says, corny equals great solid man who provide, protect, and guide with love and good intentions yeah 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 but you know what and see and that's the thing y'all women are so used to being dogged out when they come across a man that has good intentions they don't know what to do some of these chicks don't know what to do some of these chicks can't even see a good man if he was if god himself came down and stood in front of them and said what are you doing this man keeps on presenting you with opportunities and you playing games. Help you be not so corny. Just one cup of coffee. One cup of coffee, man. Makes you a little bit of an a-hole. You know? So think things are a little bit different. Here's another comment that says, I want corny. LOL. This lady says she's looking for that. And the creator responded back and says, that's what I need to find for you. Another person here says, but why you got to call them corny, though? Another comment here says, damn, sis, I understand the point you make him, but why we got to be corny? Accept the corniness for what it is. I mean, who cares? Who cares what they call you? Why do you care? Too many people in this life care too much about that the labels true. that people put on them. Tell me what the mindset of a backwards woman or even some men out here think of you change your reality now we're gonna stop right there facts fellas facts key word he just said backwards woman you have to understand what you're dealing with these women are doing things backwards you have to know that you have to accept that and you have to leave those women alone it is what it is fellas y'all already know what time it is i'm your host michael may thank you for being here to hear me out podcast in association with true hall of fame bills y'all already know if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel like the video turn on notifications share the videos y'all already know till next time yeah